On Friday, we lost a towering figure from the sports world when baseball legend Hank Aaron passed away at 86. In April of 1974, he supplanted Babe Ruth as baseball's home run king, despite death threats and other acts of bigotry. Aaron also loved the game of golf, once saying, it took me 17 years to get 3,000 hits in baseball. I did it in one afternoon on the golf course. Hank Aaron also impacted lives in the game of golf in 2003 when Mariah Stackhouse was just nine. She entered the Hank Aaron Chasing the Dream Foundation, which helped children with limited opportunities pursue their dreams. Stackhouse's parents learned of the foundation and sought assistance to help her compete in junior tournaments around the country. She went on to win 97 times as a junior and led Stanford to a national championship. In 2018 at the Founders Cup, Aaron was able to see Stackhouse play for the first time. And Mariah is with us on this Saturday. We so appreciate your time. What do you remember the most about your time with Hank? You know, I, what I remember most about Hank is honestly just his passion um, for sports in general and, and, and being the, the legend uh, that he was uh, and, and always taking the time to, you know, invite us to special events and places and um, not only verbally, you know, being supportive of, of us chasing our dreams, but, but putting in that, uh, that, that, that actual and, and, and physical support behind us. And so uh, he was just, he's extremely charismatic, kind, um, and, and, and a fierce advocate and lover of sports and, and, and developing the youth. You know, we know the number 755 home runs. How about his personality? Uh, what was he like maybe away from the lights and cameras? <laughs> Honestly, Hank is a really chill, smooth dude. You know, he's, uh, he's just got that kind of calm demeanor, and, and you can tell exactly why he was able to achieve the level of success he has. Um, he, was, he was cool, calm, collected, and I know that uh, in, in, in his prime, he had that fierce determination, and he showed up uh, focused and, and, and ready to go get it done out there uh, with his team. Right, I saw this quote Hank said about you. He said, she has met all expectations She's the one you look at and say, here's an example of what we expect of anyone that's come into the foundation. What do words like that from such a legend mean to you? Um, Shane, I can't express what, what that means. And, and for him to have said that, um, been able to come and, and see me uh, compete as a professional golfer and, and part there um, as a product of his foundation and, and dedication um, to developing us uh, as, as amateur athletes. So, um, Shane, that means the world to me. And, you know, that was my dream, and, and I'm living it now. And so to be a product of his uh, Hank Aaron Chasing the Dream Foundation, it, it's a full circle moment. You know, Mariah, he was a pioneer in his sport, and in many ways you're a pioneer in yours. What can you take from his example? What I think I can tank, uh, take from Hank is, honestly, when you look at the time, uh, that he came up in sports and the obstacles that he faced, uh, but his passion and relentless determination, he never swayed, you know, despite what was thrown at him, he continued to chase the dream that he knew in his heart uh, was his purpose. And so what I take from him is understanding, um, you know, my love for the game, my passion and, and my purpose and committing myself to that fully and, and never letting anything deter me uh, on that on this path that I'm on. And I think that that's, uh, that's what I take from Hank. He's a fighter, and, uh, and I want to be a fighter just like him. I know at 26, it's sometimes weird to feel like you're a role model, but you are, in fact, a role model to so many young women out there, young athletes. What have you learned from someone like Hank that you can pass on to young people that come up to you and ask, how do I become you one day? Mm-hmm. What I can learn from Hank is that there, it is really felt, you know, when someone admires who you are as an athlete, and this is what he did for me, and he takes the time to see you, um, to talk about your dreams and your passion and give you that genuine support and encouragement. I think that's what I take is I want to be as real in my interactions uh, with the young boys and girls that come out to watch us play as he was with me. And to hope that uh, through that conversation, um, you know, I can leave with them uh, a feeling of encouragement and, and understanding that, you know, I believe in their dreams right behind them um, and hope to see them succeed. And 
and maybe to have the opportunity to support um, in the ways that he did in the future. Well, so neat that he got to watch you play golf. You are a wonderful player. <laughs> What's your outlook for 2021? 2021, Damon. Uh, my outlook for that is honestly this past year um, with the um, shortened schedule that we had, and, and it gave me a lot of time to reflect on what I've been doing for the last few years, what's working, and, and what I want to take and kind of transform. Um, and so I've been putting a lot of separate pieces into place and really working working on sharpening my game, Damon. And so my goal is to, um, you know, come out 2021, have my best season yet. And to really say that I have done everything off the course that needs to be done and to go out there and just fall into fall into play on the course. Well, I can't wait to see the result, Mariah. It's been a <laughs> tough weekend, but it's great to see your smile on this Saturday. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Damon.